OMG, welcome back to my channel. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you and I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn and I'm not bringing you a haul today. I thought it was high time that I do an updated video on Walgreens. Um, because some things have changed because of things that we have learned along the way since I made the previous video. And I will be able to pop this right into the playlist section so that you can always reference back to it if you need to. If you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello to you as well. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you so much for coming back to another video. Um, all right, so what we're going to talk about today is we are going to talk about using Walgreens Cash on a spend deal. I'm going to walk you through that process and exactly how to do it. Yes, I have done a previous video where it was called points then. Now it's called Walgreens Cash. It basically is all going to be the same, um, except for this updated video. We'll now call it Walgreens Cash because that's what it's called. But there used to be some exclusions to deals where you could not use Walgreens Cash and receive back Walgreens Cash. And those ex exclusions have gone away because we have found a way around them. So I want to explain that in this video as well. Um, and all those store coupons are not a new thing at Walgreens. They have been a lot more um, frequent lately. And store coupons really screw a lot of people up. They don't understand the store coupons. They don't understand the difference, all of that stuff. So this video is going to be dedicated to what is a store coupon? How do you use it? How do you know if you're going to get a store coupon versus an actual register reward? Which store coupons will work together and which ones will not work together? And we're going to talk about how to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal and how to use Walgreens Cash with a paper spend booster that prints from the Catalina using contactless payment. So if you've been struggling at all with Walgreens, hopefully this video is going to help and shed some light and just give you some direction. And again, I will pop this in the playlist section so you always have a reference to go back to. So it'll be right in the Walgreens playlist section. And basically what we're gonna do now is I'm going to cut over I'm gonna show you some receipt examples. I'm not sure, I may take you in the store and show you some tags and things like that. Um, but basically, we're just gonna dive into all of these things so that you're not confused any longer on store coupons, how to use them, when to use them, and so that you feel more comfortable using Walgreens Cash on a spend deal and still earning your Walgreens Cash back so that you can get a lower out of pocket. Now, as I have said in several videos, Walgreens Foundation at its couponing is very simple. You do the deal, you pay the money, you get the reward. We make it complicated because we figure out ways with the system to be able to do things differently so that we can get a actual low out of pocket and still earn our rewards back by using our rewards that Walgreens gives us. Because technically, when something says spend, you will hear a lot of channels tell you that you cannot use Walgreens Cash to pay for those deals. That is absolutely incorrect. You can use Walgreens Cash to pay for those deals, but you have to do it correctly. If you want to keep Walgreens couponing super simple, do the deal, pay the money, get your reward. Don't complicate it. But if you want to lower out of pocket and you want to grab the fantastic deals that Walgreens offers, I'm gonna show you how to do it and get a lower out of pocket, all right? Okay, so we're gonna cut over. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you. And as always, if you think this could help somebody, if you're in some Walgreens couponing groups that maybe have some questions, always feel free to share my videos if you think it would bring some value. All right, let's cut over into some awesome information. All right. We are at the kitchen table and we are about to get into a couple of awesome spend deals where I used Walgreens cash to lower my out of pocket and still was able to earn back all of my rewards. So I'm going to walk you through that process. But first, we're going to go over store coupons 
because Walgreens has been giving us a lot more store coupons recently. Again, as I said in the intro, store coupons are not new. They've had store coupons for as long as I can remember, but there are more deals now giving back store coupons and it's really tripping people up. So I want to give you some explanations and what to look out for. So as I've said before, I do not call these register rewards because they literally say store coupon on them. And I think it makes it very confusing to call this a register reward and to call this a register reward, which says manufacturer coupon on it. I know Walgreens calls them register rewards, but they work entirely different. You can see these two side by side. They look almost identical. So you have to be really careful. You can tell because it says store coupon or manufacturer coupon. And you can also tell because this manufacturer or this register reward is longer and the barcode is totally different than the store coupon. So I'm gonna pop some pictures up on the screen. How we can tell if we are going to get a store coupon back is if a offer is including multiple manufacturers. So this one right here has P&G products. It says buy two, earn back a $4 register reward. But it has P&G products and Colgate. And Colgate is not made by P&G. So that's two different manufacturers, meaning it's not going to be a register reward. It's actually going to be a store coupon. This is from a previous week where it came from, well, it doesn't even say, thank you for shopping with us. <laughs> Sometimes they say the manufacturers that they're coming from. When it is a register reward, it will only have one manufacturer on it and it will tell you compliments of P&G. Sometimes these store coupons will say compliments of P&G and Colgate. Sometimes they'll say compliments of Walgreens. Sometimes they'll say thanks for shopping with us. But you know, because it says store coupon on it. Now a register reward that says manufacturer coupon on it works just like a manufacturer coupon, except for this is non-product specific. So I can use this on any product that I don't have a coupon already attaching to, and it will count in the system as cash paid. Because this says store coupon, it will not count in the system as cash paid. It will count as a store discount. Now you are only allowed to use one store discount per transaction. Whether that, other than the IVC, the IVC is the only, this is the big book of savings that you can find at the front of the store where you can have the cashier scan the coupon that will take $2 off, which is a store coupon, but it attaches to a, to a specific item. I can use this store discount on my Alloway, and I can also use this store discount in that same transaction. But if I have three of these store coupons, I can only use one in a transaction, it will only take one store discount per transaction. Now, let's talk about this. This prints from the Catalina machine sometimes, and this says store coupon, and it is a store discount. It is 20% off your next $10 or more regularly priced items. This is a store discount, and this is a store discount. I can only use one in a transaction. So if I choose to use this one, I cannot use this one because it will only take one store discount per transaction. Now your spend boosters also say store coupon. So this is earn $8 in Walgreens cash when you spend 35 or more on your next in-store purchase. This is not a store discount. This is a earn rewards when you do this, when you spend $35. So I could actually use this store discount to take $5 off and 
this store reward to earn $8 off. But because this is gonna take $5 off in a store discount, I now have to spend $40 to be able to qualify for this one because no amount of store discount will ever count towards any spend requirement. This is requiring me to spend 35 and we're gonna get into spend in a minute. And if I use this and I only spend 35, this will now drop my spend down to 30 and I will not qualify for this. So I have very successfully used these two store coupons together in a transaction because one is a discount and one is a earn rewards. Now I will tell you, this is a discount and this is a earn rewards. I cannot use these two together in my stores. I don't know why because a lot of you can. But for whatever reason, when my stores scan this one or this one, it doesn't matter which one they scan first, they scan the second one and kicks the first one off. I don't know why. It's so weird that I can use this store discount along with a spend booster, but I can't use this store discount along with a spend booster. So, but again, a lot of you have told me that you can use both of these together. You use a percent off store discount and a spend booster in the same transaction successfully. So that is going to vary by store. So let me show you what a store coupon looks like on your transaction. I made a purchase this week. I used a store coupon. It shows up as a $5 off a $5 purchase. So basically what it'll do is it'll break this $5 amount up and take discounts off of each product. So let me tell you something else that these store coupons will do. Let's say that I wanted to go this week and I wanted to purchase a Febreze plug. It's on sale for $2.99. And this week, PNG gave us a coupon for a free Febreze plug. I can go ahead and use this store discount along with that free plug if I have other products in my transaction. But what's gonna happen is this $5 will distribute evenly to all the products I purchase in the transaction and my free coupon, my free manufacturer coupon from PNG will not take off $2.99 because this store discount right here, this store coupon that gave me a discount on each product now lowered the value of my Febreze plug. So it no longer is $2.99. So my manufacturer coupon that says get a free product will take off whatever the value is after the store discount came off. I hope that wasn't confusing. I probably shouldn't have even shared that. <laughs> so if you wanna use these, you have to be very careful on spend deals because it will not count towards any spend requirement. So if I have a spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash digital booster, and I buy $21 worth of product, and I use this $5 store coupon, I now only have $16 worth of product and I will not meet the qualifications for spending 20 because I now spent $16. So use these coupons, they're, they're awesome coupons, but know how they work and what you can use them on. You can use them on everything. They do not need an item to attach to because they're not a manufacturer coupon, they're a store coupon, but they will lower your spend totals on any spend deals. So again, one store discount coupon per transaction, but you can use one store discount and one store reward, earn rewards in a transaction, okay? So I hope that that kind of clears up the store coupon versus an actual register reward. If you have questions, let me know. But I think that I made that pretty clear. All right, we are going to go over these two awesome spend deals. So as I said in the intro, Walgreens couponing at its foundation is super simple. You do the deal, you pay the money, you get the reward. Well, we do the deals and we don't pay the money <laughs> and we get the rewards 
because we know how to use Walgreens Cash on spend deals. So I'm gonna give you an awesome spend deal that I did towards the beginning of this month. But it doesn't matter what the deal is because this deal is not valid anymore. And this deal probably will not be valid when you are watching this. We don't care about the deals, we care about the foundation and how to successfully use Walgreens Cash on a spend deal to lower our out of pocket. So for this particular transaction, Shea Moisture was on promotion for spend $25, earn $10 back in Walgreens cash. Now a lot of people would just go and they would buy their $25 in Shea Moisture. They would use any manufacturer coupons they would have. They would pay a high out of pocket and they would earn back their rewards. I personally don't like to do that because I know how to build my transaction up and go ahead and use store rewards to pay my Walgreens cash and still earn back my Walgreens cash. So in this particular transaction, I am working with a spend 25 on Shea Moisture, earn $10 back in Walgreens cash. And I also had a digital spend booster of spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. One is a digital generic spend booster. I can spend $20 on anything I want. And the other is a product specific spend deal. I can use Walgreens cash to pay and still earn my Walgreens cash back if I do it correctly. So what I did was I built my transaction up and I added other products that I had high value coupons for so that my coupons would cover my spend requirement. And I'm gonna show you two examples on this tra particular transaction because I had some people repeat this transaction except for used a different um, coupon than I used and they didn't get their points because they didn't do it correctly. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. So what I have here is $31.96 worth of Shea Moisture products, the four products. But I wanted to use a 20% off coupon because these were regularly priced. I used one of these that printed right from the Catalina machine. This is a store discount. Whatever this 20% takes off will not count towards my spend requirement. So at $31.96 in Shea Moisture products, take 20% off, that's gonna take off $6.40. My new total is now $25.56. So I'm still meeting the spend requirement of spend 25, earn $5 or $10 in Walgreens cash. So let's take a look at what I did for this transaction. I ended up buying the Dove hand soap, which was buy one, get one 50% off. I got the Shea Moisture for $11.99 each and my 20% off took off $2.40 off each one. I ended up getting two Bic razors in this transaction that were regularly priced at $6.79 and so my 20% off took off 272. And then there's my other two Shea Moistures for 3.99 each and my 20% off took off a dollar 60. And then I got some Aller Life cuz I had an awesome Shopkick rebate. Those are $9.99 and I had a store IVC coupon from that Big Book of Savings that took off $4. So my 20% off will not apply to this because I already got a store discount on it. So you can see my store discount took off $9.12. I had $4 paper coupons off of the BIC, so I used two of them because I purchased two of them. I had a $3 paper coupon off of the Aller Life, and then I had a $5 off two on Shea Moisture, and since I purchased four, I could use two of those $5 off coupons. And then for the Dove, I had a buy one, get one free hand soap. And when they scanned it, it took off $3.99. So my subtotal on this was $23.40. I used $20 in Walgreens cash. So I paid a subtotal of $3.40. I'm gonna give you a little bit higher of a view if you wanna take a screenshot. I always think it is a fantastic idea to study receipts. That's how you learn. That's how I learned. I used $20 in Walgreens cash. I earned back $17.80 in Walgreens cash. I earned back $10 for spending $25 in Shea Moisture. And I earned back $5 for that digital spend booster of spend 20, earn five. 
and it was my birthday month when I did this transaction, so I earned extra birthday um, Walgreens cash back. So I already popped that picture up on the screen. Let's take a look at this. Here's my Shea Moisture. I had $31.96 in products. I used 20% off. It took off $6.40. I still am at a spend of $25.56 or a product total of $25.56. The total I had in products for this transaction was $61.51. We have to take off the store discounts I used because no store discount ever counts towards any amount that you are spending or required to spend. So $4 came off for the IDC, $9.12 came off for my 20% off. So now that brings me to a total after store discounts of $48.39. I had $24.99 in manufacture coupons. All of these manufacture coupons count in the system as cash that you paid. That is how Walgreens system views manufacture coupons. So it doesn't matter that this $4 coupon was off of BIC. It still counts towards my spend requirement on Shea Moisture because it is cash paid in the system. It doesn't matter that this $3 coupon was off of Aller Life. It still counts as I paid $3 towards my Shea Moisture spend deal. So I am now at $48.39 after store discounts. I had $24.99 in manufacturer coupons and I paid a subtotal of $3.40 because I used $20 in Walgreens cash. So in the system now, I paid $28.39. I now met the requirement of spending $25 on Shea Moisture to earn back my $10. And I met the requirement of spending $20 on any products to earn back my $5. So I know that my subtotal after store discounts is $48.39. If I use $20 in Walgreens cash, which any Walgreens cash I use will not count towards any spend requirement. So if I use 20, I'm still at 28.39. So I know I'm safe. That is a very easy calculation that you can do. So I had 20. So my, my um, subtotal was 48.39 after coupons, 24.99. My subtotal was 23.40 as you already saw on here. Now let me show you where quite a few people actually screwed this deal up. They went and they repeated the same transaction I did and they did not earn their Walgreens cash because two things that you have to do to be able to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal and still earn it back is you have to make sure that your coupons and the cash that you paid, not including tax, equals your spend requirement. So my spend requirement on this was $25. I paid $24.99 in manufacturer coupons and $3.40 in cash. I met my spend requirement of $28.39. The other thing that you have to remember is did you actually spend enough on the products to qualify for the deal? So here's what some people did. They went and they repeated this exact transaction, but they used a 25% off regularly priced item coupons. So here's my Shea Moisture, minus 25%. It took off $7.99. Now I'm only spending $23.97 in Shea Moisture products. But the deal is spend 25, earn $10 in Walgreens cash. So I'm a dollar three short to meet that spend requirement because I used a 25% off coupon instead of a 20% off coupon. My total in products is exactly the same. I used a $4 IVC and I had 25% off. My 25% off took off $11.38 versus my 20% off taking off $9.12. So now after store discounts, I'm at $46.13. I still had $24.99 in manufacturer coupons but now I only paid $114 in cash because my subtotal was lower because the 25% discount took off more. So $24.99 in manufacturer coupons plus the cash I paid 
was $26.13 because I used $20 in Walgreens cash again on this transaction. So people get stuck on this. They say, but my coupons and my cash equaled $26.13. That's more than $25. Yes, you are correct. That is more than $25. But you only spent $23.97 in the Shea Moisture products and therefore did not meet the spend requirement of spending 25 in a particular product to earn back the $10 in Walgreens cash. So you have to make sure that you have your math correct if you want to use Walgreens cash. I'm gonna give you an overview of this write-up if you wanna take a screenshot and you wanna study this. So I had several messages of people. I felt so bad that used a 25% off. They said, I repeated your transaction, but I didn't get the $10 in Walgreens cash. I said, well, send me your receipt. And I said, no, you did not repeat my transaction. You used 25% off. I only used 20% off. So not only do your coupons and your cash have to total your spend requirement, but you actually have to spend the required amount. If I have a spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash digital booster, and I spend $39.99 in products, and I use $20 in Walgreens cash, I'm now only spending $19.99. I don't qualify for the spend 20, earn 10, because no amount of Walgreens cash I use counts towards the spend requirement. So if I'm going to use $20 in Walgreens cash when I have a digital booster of spend 20, earn 5, I have to make sure my subtotal of products after store discounts is at least $40. If you want to use $10 in Walgreens cash and you have a spend 20, earn 5, you have to make sure your subtotal of products is at least $30 to be able to use the $20 in Walgreens cash. But you can see this transaction was amazing. So if I would have just bought the four Shea Moisture, which would have cost me $25.56, and I used my two $5 coupons, I would have had to pay cash out of my pocket $15.56 to earn back my $10 in Walgreens cash. But instead, I paid $3.40 cash out of pocket and I still earned back my $10 in Walgreens cash. All right, I do have a video that explains contactless payment. Normally, whenever we had a paper booster, these were completely excluded from ever using Walgreens cash to pay. The system will kick this booster out if the cashier selects that you want to use Walgreens cash. It will actually pop an alert up on their system that says, if you use Walgreens cash, this coupon is no longer valid. But we figured out a way to do it through contactless payment. Again, go ahead and check that video out. I will link it in the description box of how to do contactless payment. But basically, you have to go into your Walgreens app and right in the Walgreens app, there is a pay in store option you add a credit or a debit card on file, and right there, you can select how much in Walgreens cash you would like to use. And then when you hit the continue button, a barcode will pop up. Once the cashier scans that barcode, it will use your $20 or whatever you selected in Walgreens cash, and it will charge your card on file for the rest. So another way to be able to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal and still earn your Walgreens cash back. If you are using one of these, the only way you can use Walgreens cash is through contactless payment. Now I will tell you contactless payment at the time that I'm filming this video is a new feature that we've recently discovered will allow us to use Walgreens cash and still earn our Walgreens cash from this. However, it's not working in some stores. It's literally crashing the store's register. I don't know why, so proceed with caution. It has worked for me. I've done it, I think, four times. It's worked for me every time with no problem. 
I have heard from some people that it crashes one register, they move to a different register and it works perfectly fine. I have also heard from some people that they crashed three different registers in the Walgreens. So again, proceed with caution. If you don't want to do contactless payment, then just know whenever you are using one of these, you cannot use any Walgreens cash to pay. You can only use coupons and, and cash to pay. But I did this deal just this week where I purchased a Gillette and I have my, my this is circled because I'm doing a rebate on this transaction. Um, my Gillette and all of my Olay. I had the cashier scan the points booster. Then he scanned my $3 paper coupon. My two digitals off the Olay came off and I used a $4 register reward to pay. My subtotal was $31.99. I redeemed $20 in Walgreens cash. So I paid a subtotal of $11.99 for this transaction. And I ended up earning back $12. I had a paper spend booster of spend 25, earned $7 in Walgreens cash. That's what that is. And I had a digital spend booster of spend $20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. So the only way that I can use one of these paper boosters and Walgreens cash and still earn this back is if I do it through contactless payment. And again, proceed with caution. A lot of you have had tremendous success and are loving this because you're getting a much lower out of pocket. Because if I were to repeat this transaction right here, and wanted to use this, but didn't do contactless payment, I would have had to pay $31.99 in cash. But because I did contactless payment, I only paid $11.99 in cash. So it really helps to get a lower out of pocket, but it's, I don't know, it's not gonna work in some stores and there's no way to know if it's gonna work in your store until you test it. Oh my gosh, I know. All right, so that is how you use Walgreens cash on a spend deal and still earn your Walgreens cash back. If you are not doing contactless payment, do not use Walgreens cash with this or you will not earn the Walgreens cash back. And make sure that after your store discounts, everything lines up. If I have to spend 25 and after my store discount, I'm only spending 23.97, I'm not getting the Walgreens cash back, okay? All right, that's what I got for you today, an updated video on how to use Walgreens Cash on a spend deal to get a much lower out of pocket. And we went over all the things store coupons, which ones can be used together in a transaction and which ones can not. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. If you found some value in this video and you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm gonna see you again soon.